Okay. Okay. So, so when I'm, let's say I, I, I'm interested in a coding bootcamp and I'm, I'm interested, I have this idea of, I'd like to do this. So what are some things I should look for in a coding bootcamp? Yeah, I would look for, I know I'm biased, but I would look, really look into their career services team. I would like, what do they offer? What all is involved in it? What is those stipulate? What are those stipulations you have to meet? Do you have a career coach one-on-one? -on -one? When are you introduced to the career coach? Because that really is such a big part of your experience. The other thing I would look at is the technologies they teach and how relevant that is to the kinds of jobs you want or your market. Different technologies mm -hmm. are more popular in different markets. So especially if you're looking at an online program, Thinkful teaches JavaScript and React, but if you're in a market that uses Java, then that's not going to be helpful. So right. look at that. And then the other thing I would look at as well is, and this is, I'm specifically talking about like web development boot camps, is look at the curriculum too and see, is it project based? That's really important because, like I said, those projects, that's your work experience, right? That's what you're walking right. out the door with to show to employers. So it's really important that the program is project based as well. Okay. That's some helpful stuff to, to talk about. Yeah. You know, I agree with you on the career services and how important that is. Like once, like I said, I think I said earlier, but like I would, so our, our coding bootcamp would have these lessons and people would come to these lessons and, and, and the class would show up and then they say, Hey guys, don't forget tonight is resume review night. Like with someone like it'd be with you or it'd be with some, someone on your team. Mm -hmm. And so, so I, I just remember showing up and being like, why? you're not here to learn to code. Like you're here to learn to get a job. Isn't that your real goal? Like coding is the vehicle to get you to your destination, which is a job. So, mm -hmm. so I think I, I completely agree. I think that it's important to have a, a really strong career service. So what does that look like? Like I'm looking at different boot camps. Like how do yeah. I actually tell? Yeah, that's such a good question. I was just thinking about that as you were saying what you were saying. And I think the difference is for, for my money, I want to go to a boot camp that places an emphasis on career services from the beginning of the program. Yeah. Um, I would want to go to a program that has, in addition to program specific curriculum, has career services curriculum as well, so that I'm learning those job search techniques as I go through the program, mm -hmm. so that when I graduate and I start working with my career coach, that I'm ready to hit the ground running. Because if you don't have that in the program, then you're learning all this stuff. And then by the time you're done with the program, then you have to start all over. You have to build your resume. You have to build your network. You have to build your LinkedIn. You have to, and it just wastes time. So I would look for a program that does both of those things in at the same time. And then I would also look for a program that offers one-on-one -on -one career support. Like you have your one career coach who you work with for an extended period of time. And then I would look into right. those people, right? Use LinkedIn, go look at who's the career coach or career manager or career specialist at the boot camps you're interested in and look at their resume. What's their background? Is that, does it, do you find that compelling or interesting?